Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. I have another little haul to share with you. I um, was on the hunt for a few more of the special Halloween polishes, and the only reason I'm I know it's Halloween's over, I, I understand, but I wanted to show some of these, and um, just in case you really were digging some of them, and you know, now's the time to go get them before they, you know, disappear from the stores and you can no longer find them. So I have picked up six pure ice and two more sinful colors. I don't think it rounds out the collections for me, but it definitely fills in some spots that um, I really, you know, wanted. This one's called Dark Arts, and it is so pretty. I will swatch these on a swatch wheel here in a minute for us. And this is a purple one called I Want You to Haunt Me. Had to have this one. It's just, I love purple. Mm. And this is the orange one with some shimmer, and it's gorgeous. Like gourd, like a, you know, pumpkin gourd. Gorgeous. And it's got some shimmer in there that goes on for days. And I also grabbed Chrome On Over. And I don't think this one, this one wasn't in the, it's not in the limited edition, but it's considered a new shade. It's like a dusty gray purple foily looking thing. I love it. And then I had to get the hollow looking one. And this one's called Dazzle Me. And this one was not in a special deal, but it was over with the Halloween polishes, so I don't know if it'll be disappearing off the shelves or not, but I could not pass up that hollow. Couldn't. And then there's the skulled one. Now this one just looks like gold. But it's got little bitty tiny, tiny red glitters in there. And it's just yummy. And this one is called Studet. Had to have it. So those are the six pure ice that I had to grab. And then I went I went looking for this one for a friend of mine. She was like, I can't find it. So um, since I was looking for her, I grabbed her and me one. And this is called If You've Got It, Haunt It. And it is so pretty. It's got like all the Halloween colors. It's like got coppery orange and purple. And it's just so pretty. I wouldn't designate it just only for Halloween though. I think it would work for other, other occasions as well. And this one. <laughs> this one's called Pumpkin Spice. I picked this up and put it back on the shelf like four or five different trips up into Walgreens. I would pick it up and I'd walk around with it. And then before we would head out to check out, I would just put it down. Because I'm like, I don't really need that. I don't need that. Well, it turns out I did need it. It's just gold and like pumpkin-y, reddy, orange. Just such a pretty thing. I just had to have it. And Pumpkin Spice. Who doesn't need Pumpkin Spice? So I'm going to grab this little swatch wheel and get all the bottles open. And we're going to swatch these real quick. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I couldn't remember where I was supposed to start. <laughs> so we're going to swatch these real quick. This one is gorgeous. It's definitely a blue base now that I can see it out of the bottle. And it's got an insane amount of shimmer and perfect stuff going on in it. Oh, oh I'm so glad I got this one. And this one's Dark Arts. And then this next one, what was you? I want you to haunt me, the purple one. Let me turn this like this. I did paint a couple of them black when that was the Revlon knockout. Because um, I've got a couple of them I think are going to need it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is definitely jelly-like. Oh, but I built up. This one's just going to sing. Oh, it's got so much glowy going on in it. Love that. Gorgeous. And then now the orange one. And this is the gourd. Just had to have it. Wow, this has got a really good formula. It's kind of thick, and I like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, like it. It is gorgeous. And then what was this one? I forgot already. Chrome on over. That's right. And this is that, <coughs> excuse me, that purpley, foily. Oh, I like it too. 
I'm telling you, Pure Ice really does not get enough love. Now, I hear a lot of my people, you know, they're like, oh, I love this one. And you do hear them talk about it a little bit, but they're not like just, you know, really talked about it. It's not like people are, you know, running each over in the stores trying to get to them. That is so pretty. Love it. Okay, now on the, for the hot silver hollow we won, which was Dazzle Me. Oh, you might could build that one up solid on its own, especially with some sponging. Dang! Wow. Okay. Uh, this girl was totally wrong about that one. That's wild. Wonderful. Okay, and this is the one that really I, I'm really drawn to, and it's because it's got that those reds, little tiny red glitters in it, and it's studette. And it's just shimmery beautiful. I love, 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 love the combo with the, the gold. And it looks like there might be like two shades of gold, like a bright white gold and then more of a darker gold. But then it's got those red glitters in it. So in love with that. Ugh. And then this next one is the Sinful Colors. And this is, if you've got it, Haunt It. I'm going to put it over black. Might not have been the right choice, but it's what we had setting out. No, I kind of like it over black. I bet it would look really good over like a lavender, too. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. <laughs> and then this one's Pumpkin Spice. The one that I kept trying to tell myself I didn't need. And I'm also putting it over black. Because I can. Like I said, because it was sitting out on the disc. And both of these, you might could build them up doing the sponging method, but I really like them layered. So, I'm going to pop off camera, add one more coat to everything, and we're going to go through them one more time. I'll be right back. Alrighty, the second coats are all on here. We're going to start with this one. This is Dark Arts, and it is so pretty. I love all of that. It's like blue and teal and aqua and oh, I'm, I'm so happy I got Dark Arts. The next one to it is the purple jelly-like one and it built up really, really nice. And I love the little flaky looking things in it. I really do think Pure Ice is just really going to give indies, a, you know, a run for their money. Because it's just amazing to find, you know, mainstream brands that are doing things like this. Because normally only indies do cool stuff like that. So this is I Want You to Haunt Me. Love it. This gorgeous orange is gorgeous. Love it. It could probably be a one coater and the gold shimmer totally translates to the nail. Always love when that happens. The next one is Chrome On Over and it's the dusty grayed out purple chrome. I don't know that the camera's going to do it justice but it is lovely. And then we have the Silver Hollow. I totally believe you could build that up. You could have a bling-tastic accent nail with something like this. Or you could do it real light over whatever you're doing, and it would look really nice that way, too. So that one is Dazzle Me. The next one here is Studette. And I hope you can see the red glitters in there. This one is was a surprise. I, I wasn't expecting that. Love it. And then next here, we have the simple colors. If you've got it, flaunt it. That is just super crazy pretty. <laughs> and then finally, we have pumpkin spice. So that is it. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I didn't do them on my nails, but I've got on a manicure. I'm not quite ready to take off. And, um, you know. So, we just did the swatch wheel today. So, that is it. That is all I have for you today. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.